the best way to roll this. This is like not rolling like any dough that I have seen people do. And I'm gonna take... Hi, I'm David, a young 20-something living in New York City, looking to teach myself to cook better food. So, I'm taking New York Times best-selling cookbook, Salt, Fat, Acid, Peach, Mastering the Elements of Good Cooking, written by Samin Nosrat, and I'm attempting to make 200 recipes in six months. So, let's get cooking. The first pie that we're going to work with is um, getting and prepping our chocolate pie. First, I am going to just like flour my table a bit. And then also going to roll or flour my, yeah, my little rolling pin. So do that. Feels fun. All right, so these are the doughs from that we made yesterday morning. I have let them chill in the fridge overnight. I hope it rolls out like a pie dough. We're gonna see right now, I guess. It still feels kinda good. I'm gonna push that down like that. And then something I saw people do is they like hit the dough like, like this. I don't know if that's really what you're supposed to do, but we're gonna do it because it looks kinda fun. And then I'm just gonna roll it out if I can. If it's like really crackly, maybe my dough was not great. So this is like not rolling like any dough that I have seen people do. I don't know if I didn't add enough water or maybe I just overworked it too much. I don't know. I just feel like it's not what it's supposed to be. Okay, so it is rolling out. It's just got some breakage in it. That's okay. I'm going to flour this some more. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just used to like the like the store-bought like Pillsbury, I don't know if I can say that, but the store-bought doughs that you get and they're much more like perfect and easy to work with and this is like, I don't know, kind of a mess. Just roll them out. And so I think that we want to do just like a little over nine inches to fit our pies. Also, I don't know how you roll a circle. I'm just kind of doing what I think looks and feels kind of right. And that's what this looks like. So we're going with it. Oh, okay. Kind of breaking apart. It is rolling out, which is like really exciting. I was super discouraged immediately when this started. I don't know if you could tell. Well, it's sticking to the table, but that's Probably because it's not a great table to roll dough on. And I wasn't expecting it to go all the way over there. Measuring stick, so. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're at like, a, definitely at least like 12 in diameter. I'm gonna try and roll this up on our rolling pin. Oh shit. shit. Stop falling off. Okay, great. So that's on there. So just, wow, oh my God, this is like pie. I mean, I know that's what I'm making, but this is really like pie. Wow, look at this, this is a f***ing pie. I'm so excited. Um, I've never made anything like this. Um, we're gonna go ahead and push that into the corners and then just get that all coating our sides. Again, we're still trying to work fast um, because the butter, we don't want that to melt. But again, we are gonna freeze that before that goes in the oven. So a little bit of a safety net. So I have some scissors here that I like washed and dried and everything. We're gonna use that to kind of cut and trim some of the excess. We wanna leave a good portion still there. So I'm only trim like long sides. Okay, cool. I don't know about anyone else, but I love pie dough. Like, I love the crust on pies. That is my personal favorite part. So, I know I've never made a pie before, but I'm gonna make the executive decision right now as me, David, and say, if this pie on the edge is a little bit more than like, a, like a three-fourths of an inch, that's fine. 
I'm fine with that. Great, so same deal, we're gonna roll that um, it, uh, under itself, I think, um, and pulling up, and just kind of roll, just so that you're like kind of getting on the edge of the pan. So, and now that I've rolled it, I'm gonna go ahead and still um, push it into the edges again, just in case anything came up. And just pinch and then pull up as well. Just again, wow, this one was a little bit difficult to do. No one ever said more crust is bad for you. Maybe a doctor, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna just like say that that's like good to go. So this is our pie here. Um, pretty good, not looking the best, but it's okay. Now we're gonna dock and poke those holes again, so just go crazy with those holes. And I'm gonna say that's good, and we're gonna pop this in the freezer. So here we go. Now, finishing and continuing with our chocolate pudding pie, um, we have the frozen dough just right here that's been in the freezer. First thing that we need to do is we need to dock, or not dock it, we need to blind bake um, our pie crust. So basically what that means is we're going to um, just bake the crust because we don't want to bake our chocolate pudding mixture in there. We just want to bake the crust. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this foil. The recipe book calls for parchment paper, but I don't have parchment paper and I wasn't able to get any. So I looked up and I think you can use foil. Um, Again, we're trying things out. It's not gonna burn or anything. Um, and we're just gonna hope for the best. So I'm gonna get foil. So I'm gonna put that foil just on top of, ooh, I'm gonna do it like this, of our pie. It's a little harder than I was thinking it would be. But then what I'm gonna do then is I have just this um, bowl of like uncooked rice. I'm gonna put that in to weigh down um, our pie. You can use beans, uh, there's pie weights, but I don't have the money to buy all those things. I didn't have beans, but I did have rice. So we're gonna use rice and do that. It's just so that the bottom of the pie doesn't puff up. That's all that we're really looking for um, and it's job to do. So it doesn't have to be like an elephant in here. It just needs to like be substantial enough. So our foil's in there, it's weighing it down. I think that's gonna be perfectly fine. Boom, now that this is like ready to go and weighted, we're gonna cook it like this for a bit at 425, lower the temperature, um, and then till it's golden brown, take off the rice and foil, pop it in again to finish the bottom um, for a little bit longer, and then we'll be ready to put our chocolate pudding mix. So that's that, stay tuned. Pies. So much tasting. I need a different knife to cut these pies. Ooh. Still grabbed a butter knife. Um, I'm gonna do the chocolate one first. I'm not gonna cut a huge piece. Mm. Okay, so I need a, not a butter knife. Okay, I'm gonna use this knife. I think it's a little sharper. It's probably still not the best knife, but here we go. Okay, now I need something to serve it on. <laughs> so much! This little blue bowl will work perfectly fine. So we're just gonna get that out of there. Come on, crustity crust. Hi, wow, oh my God. This is some flaky crust, y'all. This is so good. Okay, there's like a lot of like flakes, flakes in there which I'm assuming hopefully means is a good thing. All right, we're gonna try it first. I've already tried the pudding, but I'm gonna try it like together with some whipped cream and the crust that I made with high dough. Mm, you got it. You guys. Oh my God, well, this is delicious, dope. Um, I'm gonna just leave it in here. That's it, now we're gonna dig in for dinner. Thanks guys. Yay!